channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and for today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and I'm so hyped right now I'm so excited because my dose of colors Desi XK collection finally came through and whew, I'm so excited right now if you guys have me on snapchat I will insert some clips I was just too hyped when I opened this bad boy up are you kidding me what I'm here for it, let's just say that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> yeah so yeah everything i got is in this box right here what i'm going to be doing is just having a play swatching things putting it on my face letting you guys know how i feel about it i mean already the packaging is just aesthetically pleasing you guys know all about that like extra bougie bling type of thing but anyways before we get into that if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below and with that being said, let's get into things. So we have got some heats right here. Let me just tell you guys that like everything in this box, it just looks bomb. First of all, let's talk about it. Like, okay girls, I love these pictures of them. They look amazing together. I just wanna say, first of all, the Desi and Katie are like the epitome of ride or die. Like they are so, all about each other like I love the friendship that they have and I've actually been watching the two of them before they were even really close friends with one another and it's just been really awesome to watch their friendship grow and I'm so happy and proud of everything that they've done together so ah, I'm so I'm just so happy for them I don't know where to start guys like everything looks so pretty I'm just feeling very overwhelmed right now first things first though Dose of Colors did include a little freebie with my order because my order was in fact delayed it did take a little longer than I expected to get to me, but in saying that, I live in Australia, so everything takes ages to get to me. So I wasn't even mad about it. So when I saw this, I was like, ah. Oh. I'm gonna quickly run through everything that I chose from the collection. So the first thing that I picked out was the over-the-top gloss. Now, as you can see, it is this beautiful clear lip gloss with a ton, I mean a ton of gold shimmers throughout. Plus, it smells amazing. It smells beautiful. It smells like caramel. Mmm, I like it. Okay, let's give this a swatch because I actually haven't swatched it yet. Ooh, do you see that? Like, I know I'm far away from the camera right now, but literally you can see the shimmers throughout it, but it's not like an intense, chunky glitter shimmer. I like that. I really like that. It reminds me of, like, honey. Ooh, I really like that. Oh my goodness. Do you see those shimmers right now? Like, yes! Next up, I did get the two lipsticks, No Shade and More Crema Please. Now, if you know me, you know I'm always down for a good nude. And I feel like Desi and Katie, like they know their nudes. So I was so excited when I saw that they were doing these two nude lipsticks. I had to get them. So here are the two swatches side by side. We have the darker one, which is more crema please. And then we have the lighter, more pinky peachy tone nude, which is no shade. Let's just take a minute to admire this packaging right here. I mean, all of the packaging on all the items in this collection is just bomb. But these ones right here, like ugh. when I saw these, I was like, are you kidding me? So you guys know I had to cop one of the highlighters. I was going to get them both, but I feel like Mirame was a little too like pinky toned for my liking. I really do love a nice gold highlighter. So I did pick up Fuego and this is how it looks right here. Ooh, I'm so excited to put this on my face. You have no idea. I actually haven't swatched this yet. So let's just take a minute. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm geeking so hard right now. What? What? Oh my gosh, I knew this was gonna be intense, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Okay, that is, that's a, 
I could swear right now, but I'm not going to, but that is a highlight. Like, that is a highlight. Last but not least, I did pick up the girls' eyeshadow cord. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, I need that. Like, I feel like what you see on camera just doesn't do it justice. But I mean, that's looking pretty good right there. I love all of these shades, especially this one right here, the olive shade. Let me look at the shade names because I need to get educated on this right now. So we've got Suze, Noli, Harpoon, and Turbo Sun. I'm, I'm dying over this Harpoon shade. And I think because I'm wearing olive today, I think we just may have to incorporate her in today's look. So now that I've gone through everything, let's get to putting the makeup on. I have already done my base. As you can see, I've got my my base on, but I haven't got any eyeshadow on. So I think for like my transition shades and whatnot, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see how everything goes. Alrighty, we got that zoom action going on so that we can be nice and up close when I apply the shadows. I'm firstly gonna prime my lids. I'm just using the NYX eyeshadow base. Gotta make sure that the lids are primed and ready to go. And then I'm just gonna set it in place with a translucent powder. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to go in with Creamsicle first from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my crease with the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. This is going to be my transition shade, you already know. Got to lay down that transition. So I'm just running this back and forth through the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. So that crease shade is down. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha. And I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply this through my crease as well to help further define the eye. But as usual, I won't be blowing it out as far as I did with that creamsicle shade. While I'm here, I may as well run those same shades along my bottom lash line. You already know how it is. I'm going to take Creamsicle, smoke it out along my bottom lash line, and then go back in with Mocha and keep it much closer to the lashes so that it defines my eye a little more. All right, so it's time for the fun part now. I'm going to go into the girl's eyeshadow quad, and I'm going to be taking Harpoon, the beautiful olive shade. Yes, I'm excited. It does say to use this shadow wet, so I have my little cup of water here. I'm gonna dip my finger into it because it does say that it's best to apply all of these shadows with your fingers. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, dampen the finger, rub it into the shadow. Ooh, ooh, wow. Stop it. Oh my goodness. I have to admit, I'm not very good when it comes to applying shadows with my fingers just because I'm so accustomed to using brushes, you know? So it might look a little bit patchy at first, but we will make it work. <laughs> I'm dying because I just realized that the whole time that I've been applying this, my fingers have been like contorted, like as if I'm going through some kind of like exorcism. <laughs> Let me just get that into order. Do you see what is on my eyes right now? Like I'm living for like the shifting of the shadow. Like when you turn your head, it just catches the light. Oh my goodness. I can't stop looking in the viewfinder. So I apologize that I'm like looking down, but wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is something special right there. Like, damn, that looks so good. Okay. I am going to blend, actually, because I just need to like blend through the crease just a little. Make sure that everything is nice and smooth. I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. It's actually really easy to blend. Like you think it would be stuck in place, but like it's it's in place. But if you need to blend at the edges, it's easy to do so. It's not like a glitter shadow or anything like that, where like once you apply it, it's stuck. This has a little bit of like leeway to it, which I like. I'm going to apply a little bit of shadow to the outer corner of my eyes, just to kind of add a little bit of depth and dimension to the look. So I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. This is Central Park, and I'm just using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. So as you can see, I'm just applying that to the outer corner of my eyes and blending it in towards that harpoon shade. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and my inner corner now. So I'm going to take the lightest shade from the quad. This is Suze. And it says to use this wet as well, but since my fingers 
aren't really going to get into that inner corner nice and precise like I want them to. I'm going to use the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. I'm of course making it damp first and then dipping it into the shadow and then applying it to the areas I want to highlight on my eye. Man, that looks so good. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes and all that good stuff and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so the eyes are done and honestly, I can't stop staring at them because whew, I'm just I'm obsessed. I can't even talk properly. I'm obsessed, yes. Also, if you guys are wondering which falsies I'm wearing, you already know. Coco Lashes Queen Bees. I love them. I feel like they go with every single look and they are just like the cherry on top of the cake for this one. It's that time guys, we're about to bring some heat up into this look, not that it isn't already fire, but before you go, it's your time to shine. I'm just gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush. This is my favorite highlighter brush to use. So we're gonna dip her in. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that much product to come out, but I am mad. So tap off the excess and we're just gonna go in. I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> Loki, I'm nervous. Ah! Desi and Katie. Oh my goodness. This is insane. This is insane. I get too excited when it comes to highlighters and I can already see it. Like this is gonna be my new favorite highlighter. <gasps> fuego is fuego. Literally. Yes. Oh my god. This is actually my first time trying any Dose of Colors highlights. And if their formula of their highlighters are all like this, then I'm going to have to go check out what else they have to offer because this is just... Whew. Got to hit that nose. And that cupid's bow. Yep. Mm -hmm. The highlighter could possibly be my favorite thing out of the entire collection. I love a good highlighter. Ooh, I may have applied too much. Just maybe. But like, when is there ever too much highlighter applied, you know? Go to get that head tilt action to feel the full effect of it. But I mean... Mm -mm. Last but not least, I'm going to try out the lip products that I got. I will be putting them all on, but first things first, I'm going to apply the On The Top Gloss on my lips first, like on my bare lips, just so we can kind of get a gauge for what it looks like. This smells so good. Smells like caramel. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, lips. Shine away. I naturally have like really pigmented pink lips. So personally, I wouldn't wear the gloss on its own just because I really do love a good nude. But I mean, it feels really comfortable. It doesn't feel sticky or heavy. It's like, it's just there and it feels good. So that gets a thumbs up from me. I'm gonna wipe that off now and we're gonna try out the lipstick, which I'm really excited about. Before I wipe it off, no, like, let's just, let's just admire that. Quick, quick second. Okay, we're done. <laughs> So like I said earlier, I did pick up both of the lipstick bullets, No Shade and More Creamer Please. Now I won't be applying a lip liner with these today. Typically, whenever I apply a nude lip, I always like to go in with a lip liner first, but to kind of showcase the full effect of the color of these, I won't be applying a lip liner. So firstly, I'm gonna be taking No Shade. It's the lighter shade of the two. It kind of is giving me those like, max peach stock vibes if you know what i mean but let's just go ahead and apply it well, let me just get my cute little compact <laughs> oh that is very opaque damn so there we have it this is no shade i actually really like it and yep it's totally giving me like mac peach stock vibes if you guys know that lipstick from mac called peach stock that is what this lipstick reminds me of i'll have to like swatch them side by side in my own time to see if they do compare but i'm really liking this it is like very peachy toned which i i live for a good peachy toned nude so yeah, I really like it. And I just have to say that the formula of these lipsticks, even though they are very opaque and intense in color, they feel very comfortable on the lips and yeah, I like it. Alrighty, so I'm going in with more creamer, please. 
much darker but it still has that like warm peachy undertone to it which I like. So then we have more cream and please on the lips. As you can see it is much darker than no shade. I kind of like the two of them on me like I don't have a preference at the moment but I feel like this shade would look amazing on those with darker skin tones. Like if you're darker than me this shade is going to look bomb on you. But I still really like it on myself because I feel like it pulls very like apricot-y kind of nude on me, if you know what I mean. And once again, the formula is very comfortable on the lips. I feel like I'm all matchy-matchy today with my olive shirt, my olive eyes, my apricot lips, the crease shades, like everything is just matching and I'm really liking it. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lighten this up a little bit with the no shade lipstick. I have to like remember the names because I keep getting mixed up. So I'm just gonna kind of like customize my own right now. And uh, Put that on the center. You know. Now that is a very pretty combo. I'm really liking it. I'm also gonna go over top with the on the top gloss because I mean, on the top, we gotta put it on top. I'm just gonna say it guys, but I mean, this is a look, like I'm obsessed. I can't stop looking in the monitor because this eyeshadow though, like the way it just shifts with the light, is insane and I love it and I'm obsessed with everything that I got in this collection. Major congratulations to Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors for everything that you did. You like hit the nail on the head with this one. I'm obsessed and I am so happy for you guys. If you are interested in getting anything from this collection, I'm pretty sure they did say they would be relaunching it sometime in this month of September. So be on the lookout for that because honestly, if you're like me and you love like the bougie, glam, bling side of things, then you're gonna love this collection for sure. Alrighty guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I apologize if I got a little bit too crazy, too extra, too hot for you. But honestly, I get really excited when it comes to new makeup. And this collection was no exception. Ooh, I just rhymed. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do, join the crew so you don't miss any more videos I post. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.